directions? Yes, sir. Look. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But over there, it was way past eleven. <coughs> you know why that's the case? People are different. Different people. Which one do you like? That one right there? Okay. Be happy! Be happy! Be happy. Yeah. And boys, something else to be looking for on this bare soil. Look at my are, walking stick. I see your walking stick. It's Indian artifacts. <laughs> we find a lot of Indian artifacts or Native American artifacts when we're doing a clear cut or when there's been a little bit of erosion okay. after the plant. Now we're going to walk across and look at a stand that's been cleaned up, a stand of longleaf for a longleaf straw. Hey, can I go in the woods? I have a walking stand. Let's go. That was a row yeah. of longleaf planted about 25 years ago. And if you look on the ground underneath your feet, this pine straw desirable for landscape. There's a mattress! We have a trampoline! We have a trampoline! A lot of hardwood has been piled up. Yeah, there's another trampoline. Probably, it's probably a great habitat for a mouse nest. Yeah, sure. And then during the summer, you'll get a snake that lives in there. Yeah, y'all better get out. Someone's going to run out and bite yep. you. If y'all want to check, we can turn it over and see. Yeah, yes! Let's right here and see what we can find. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, no snakes. Oh, I was hoping we might find a snake in the winter the underneath the mattress. <laughs> because we're in the sand hills, we do have a lot of unique species of snakes, um, as well as plants. Always Hello. Looking for snakes all around. We're just gonna walk down here. If you look right here, this is a live lolly pine within our longleaf stand. So our contractor has actually girdled this tree by cutting it right down here to kill it, and then these young longleaf will actually grow up and take its place. Why did they girdle it? The, the living part of the tree is right here just behind the bark. That the bark protects the cambium, green. and the cambium is where the Daddy, um, nutrients and moisture what? come up the tree, and then the nutrients come back down the tree from the needles, and they travel in this area. So when a beaver girdles a tree and kills it, all they do is cut right through the bark and through the cambium. So if you don't want to cut the entire tree over, you can take your chainsaw and just cut just in past the bark through the cambium all the way around and that will actually kill the tree found, and that's called girdling the tree. I found an arm. And if they haven't been burned frequently for the control burn, a wildfire can come through and do damage. I found wood. That's the bark. Yeah, that's the bark. The bark off the tree, that's right. Foundation of an old, old tobacco barn. Tobacco barn? <gasps> tobacco barn. How long ago did the tobacco field? Five years ago. Five years ago, all this is tobacco field. This will be an old tobacco barn. Where are you? Sir, oh, don't get in that part. This will have been secured by, at first, it would be because you had to burn the chimney back in the back. And then they would have burned over to the floor over there. You know it's smoke. This is the foundation. If you think about this area, it's about the only crop. They can make pretty good living after cotton. Do not smoke. Hey, look at that GFR hat. You come on through there, buddy. You're almost out. Go! Go, Sire! Good job. Great job. Squish that little piece. Feel it. Squish it. That's pretty cool, isn't it?
Pinch is nice, feel it. It's hard. It's so not... we, we call it we call it deer moss. This is actually a pretty good looking slash pine because we do, if you noticed on the other side of the road, we do have a little bit of clay underneath this sand. It's a slash pine. If you think about the the loblolly and the the length of needles, slash is right in between this. Sawyer! Okay. Can you put this okay, in there? Go right in the crest yeah. of that next hill there. Here. Okay. Huh? Whatever. Nice There you go, Sawyer. <laughs> Okay, camera. We're gonna be going back over there to plant trees. Okay, camera. I'm on video. <laughs> Camera, did you see that? I just failed. Plant seedlings during the winter months while the seedlings are dormant. So they have been um, grown in a nursery. These, Mr. Scott, are MCPs, which are the mass controlled pollination, containerized live lollies. And these are much more expensive seedlings but they grow much faster. Say hi! And they also have better... Uh, Brooks. Brooks. We're going to try to plant one of these seedlings, and I'm going to make it easy for you. You can hold back up just a little bit. The first thing we do is we take this, stick it in the ground like that. It's still going to be a little tough. Work it down into the ground. And what we're trying to do is create an opening to put our tree into, okay? You so are we've done that, hey. we've created an opening for our seedling. You are doing That's this. Right. Now I want you to take that seedling and drop in this hole. Okay. We don't want to curve it up and we don't want to have what they call a J root. So we put it right there. And we want the top of the plug to be just level with the top of the soil. Recording. We don't want it to be too deep. We don't so want it to be too high. So the next thing you do with the planting bar is you push it in the ground, guys, just over here. And what you're doing is you're packing the soil in around the seed. So you want it to go in just as deep, about three to six inches away. Then we take our foot and we do that. And we should be able to grab a hold of this and pull up. And it's tucked in there nice and tight and firm. There are no air pipes. So that's how we're going to plant our seed. Now, Dash, where are we going to plant our next seed? Down there. How far? Um, Okay, so how many steps do we have to go for our next seedling in the ground? It's deep, all seedling in the ground right there. Let's try that. Oh, yeah. They're still pretty tough, isn't it? Oh, they're in the box. You want to go bring another tree? I know. Use your muscles. It's that all as far as I can go. Seedling in, and then we want to pack that hole. So now, when I pull up on it, yes, that seedling's right where it needs to be. Okay? I didn't get to do it. Right, 12, 13. Right, now uh, it's my turn! So you have to jump. I can poke us. I like the thing. No, 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 let's. Me try. Now let's try. <laughs> You'll get to it. This is the deepest we can go. If you can't, if you can't get it right in that spot, just move your. Your or so in the other direction. Okay. Let's saw you do it. Let's let saw you jump on that one. You hold it tight. Let him jump on it. Jump. 
tend to get less and less less radial growth per year's ages. Yeah, as a, as a rule of thumb, please stop. Could we plant a tree right here? Yeah. I got some more small flowers. Hard to get it in the ground. Move it just a just a short distance one way or the other, and it'll probably be easy. A little bit deeper. That's right. Oh, that did it right there. You really got all the way in there that time. Make sure it's plenty wide. That's right. Now you can drop it in. Whoop. I'll just nudge it down a little yes, bit further. He's, he's three. He's three. And he's eight and I'm six. <laughs> you, and, and the way they've got it figured out is those guys, they'll take that, that devil ball. But sometimes if you're doing like we're doing, yeah, here you go. See how much easier that was? And it's okay if you play it that deep with the, with the lob lolly. So now go ahead and put your bar back in the ground and pack that in good and tight. Sometimes they create a pocket at the bottom and a pocket at the top and right in the middle where it's been pivoting. Still too too narrow. We've taken a lot of the mortality of seedlings out of the picture by planting them in the plugs. If that was bare root, you want every root in contact with minerals. Let's walk down here and see if we can make it to the creek. I don't know if we'll be able to make it all the way down there without getting our feet wet. There's a weather spike. Come on, let's go. Can you drop in there? I don't want to drop. I can They're leaving us. <laughs> hey, I can walk go. Wait, wait, come with me. <laughs> I'm gonna help you. Up, up, come up. We'll be a while. <laughs> Let's that you can go around us. Yeah, hmm. You see a good spot to go? Yeah. See why right here? Oh look, here's a knot to step on. Go. Okay. Now we can get over. Look, we're gonna go right past that prickly bush there. Through there, okay? Well, you gotta push the branches aside. Go through there. We're exploring. Go. Now we are done. but we're going to have to wear it until we get back up there. No, I don't want to go back up there. Oh, hey, Mommy. Wait, I can walk over. Okay. I can't. I No, I'm not touching it. I isn't touching it, Mommy. See, 
I'm little, so I can't trust it. Uh, how I get stressed? You're okay. Just walk around. I know, yeah. <laughs> uh, how I get stressed? Where do you want to go? Do you want to go over there? Yeah, right there. Can I leave my stick? There's one over there. It might already work for you. Right there. You might be able to walk on that log. Where's the, a better bridge? Stop. It's further over there where your dad's going. Oh, oh. So down. Yeah. bridges! Yeah. Fire! Let me try! Yeah. Oh, you want to see the water? It's okay. The first eight! The first eight! The first eight! You gotta grab a hold of the old planting bar. There you go. Turn around. Turn around. Good to see you. Oh yeah! <laughs> Good day in the world. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I can get over. Fire! Don't you don't use this method. Can I use this? That's good. That's good. That's perfect. I try to get over here. Smell this leaf right here? Smell that. You know what that is? That's a bay leaf, like your mom puts oh, in her no spaghetti way. sauce. Where's my walking stick? My now walking stick is down the there! I got all my junior foresters here, and I think it's just a real good example to talk about why it's so important to plant trees. With this cutover, we really are planting trees for the next generation. Um, I may not see the, uh, the fruit of the planting, but these guys will be around when these trees are um, reaching maturity and growing into salt timber size and might get utilized to um, help make some wood products for building a home or perhaps just cleaning the, um, the atmosphere by pulling the carbon dioxide out of the air. Um, so we planted trees today to help the, help the environment but also to hopefully get a financial return and also just to um, understand a little bit about what goes into being a forester. And I'm glad to have had the boys with me today. They did a great job. And uh, let's go over our backside real quick. We, um, we got, into the, got into the creek mud a little bit while we're doing our work, but it's okay. What do you guys say? I'm wet. What else do you say? I'm wet. You say thank you? Thank you. Yeah, right. and I'm not wet. I won. Click, click <laughs> like and subscribe. Click like and subscribe. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.